can use them uh, whenever you want to uh, you want to add it to your service um, restroom okay connect restroom whenever you want to use for connect restroom yeah, so for uh, that you can what uh, is the difference between basic and oauth uh, basic will only use username and password for here but for here it will it will show you it will have a client secret key um so these all things i mean uh, you can use uh, certifications also okay so these all things you can use over here uh, but uh, basic is like whether that particular application access group is having that operator or not i mean not not so many um, what do you say securities but for this it would be having security unless and until you have this client credentials you cannot log into that particular system okay okay yeah so i i think i downloaded this yeah i'll download this so i'll keep i will keep that into the i'll keep and keep aside okay whenever we want we want to use we'll use so this is oauth 2.0 so for now my for my service package i'm using oauth 2.0 let's see whether it works or not okay so what i do now is i'll create one service package so to get claims details for my claims application i want to create uh, one uh, service package okay so i'll be using what 2.0 uh, and uh, request authentication so what application it is so i will use basically service access group whenever we are saying uh, uh, we are going uh, we are going to have one uh, package it's better always to have a, a separate access group for this particular service package okay uh, but for now i'll use this auth only so uh, authors only and processing mode i'll go with uh, stateless let me say this okay so these are few interview questions you will be asked. i mean everything is important here so suppress show html so in your activity whenever you are using your activity um, uh, activity which is belonging to this particular services right so if you are going to use this show html right that will be uh, that will be uh, skipping it it won't be showing it so do you want if you want to suppress that then you have to select this suppress show html or if you want to show uh, if you want to use show html method in your service activities then uh, you know you uh, unselect this okay so if you even though you are using that particular show html method in your service activities and you want to suppress this you can just simply select this option so that it will get uh, what do you say suppressed okay so save it so this is our service package so these are the few questions on context tab itself coming to the polling tab what would be the questions so basically they don't ask you what is polling tab instead what they say is there is a service on your application and at a time you are uh, having some 20 to uh, 25 requests coming up basically what is happening is uh, only three uh, at, a, at a time it is allowing only three um, uh, requests and providing the response okay so for example they, they will be asking in this way so you there is a service service rest rule there uh, three requests are coming up your yes, service test is taking up and processing it and uh, sending the response okay this all went well but when there were 20 rest requests are coming up your yes, service test tool is taking time to execute all the 20 uh, requests so how do you you know how are you going to handle this situation they will ask so to handle this situation what we need to do is we need to go for a polling tab in this polling tab we need to either uh, you know like uh, expand or you need to increase the size of this particular uh, what do you say uh, ideal requesters and active requesters okay so that will make uh, that will make what that will make our uh, application or uh, service rules not to be in the queuing okay so 
we can tell this particular answer okay so pooling size need to be increased so that uh, our requests are not in waiting uh, position okay so once it is completed once our applic our uh, uh, what do you say um, ser service package executes one uh, one request it will go into the idle next time another one again from idle only it will pick up okay like that uh, uh, we will have uh, 10 active requesters for example here and there we have uh, 10 uh, idle requesters and of course the time between them will be some 10 seconds or like that we would be adding so this is another interview question on pooling okay so this is all about service package so once service package is created now it's time for us to create service rule okay so how do we create a service rule so to create a service rule, uh, it is better we will have an int class or it's not necessary. See, it's optional every time. It's not necessary that you need to create one int class and uh, do it. Okay, so that's uh, it's okay. It's okay not to be created also. No worries on that. Um, so what shall we do now? Service package is created. Refresh this. Yeah, claims is created. Let's go to the service service rule, service test rule. So service test rule will be available under records, service integration services, service test. Any doubt still here? Okay, so I'm opening one uh, service uh, rest rule which is already there. So then later part we can uh, use this. Okay, so this is uh, a service rest rule to get the account details of a particular person okay so for that i want a resource okay it's in ids let me switch application bank app okay so let's open get it so what i want is whenever i provide the account number it should give me all the uh, details we have an account details over here account so i am giving i mean our third party application would give us account number so as soon as the account number is given to us we will process this account number and check whether this account number is available in our application or not i mean to say like in our uh, yeah in our data type or not if it is there we will be giving us giving the uh, output to them if not we are not going to give output instead we will be throwing an error to them okay so that all those process will be using in methods so now here it is like uh, if you see service test rule i am using uh, i have used both the things one is for update account post and another one i am using in get to retrieve the record okay so whenever i so yeah so what i'm what we are doing is this particular service test rule is using for both the things right one is uh anyways we have the service endpoint url uh one is it is retrieving the record okay and another one is uh there is a post method which is updating the account so to retrieve a record we have written one activity as we in c right so obj open that particular activity uh which will open the account number which we have given which we have passed as parameter and it will uh what we are doing is we are adding all those details into the uh one of the property which we have this is like your response program understand that this is your response so you are adding everything into this particular response if something is happening if something is having issue then you are sending a response message saying that you know uh, please provide proper account details and do it okay for example if i see this uh, action run okay this is activity uh, this is, yeah so i can even do the testing of this particular uh, service test when i run this 
so it is asking me account number anyway because we have a parameter already there so let's see any account number we have 1212 is there okay yeah if you see here uh, 1212 is not there is there right run get only get this value is there right what you want to let me trace it it is saying success but response okay maybe i could have so property set i'm saying always jump uh, OBJ open param dot account number is called dot account number. Okay, let me trace this. What is happening? OBJ open is getting failed. Why? Unable to open the instance account number is equal to empty. I gave right value. Account number is uh, what? Before that, where you to state that param dot account number? Uh, no, I added that account number. Trades one. This is getting success. If I see property set unnamed, UID is there. See, you got all details. Right? Account number one two one two. Okay. So what is missing over here? Both are different, I think, parameter and uh, parameter account number. Is it? Not different. If you look over here, uh, retrieve record is taking account number, parameter account number. Okay, I'm yeah, mapping you, to that. And you have different one, Anna. Ikkada? Yeah, yeah, you gave account number or uh, whole number in your MBR. I see. Okay, let me now run this thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yes. Okay, so this is giving us uh, the values now, right? So, how it is giving and all you have seen it right everything is under retrieve record only i mean whatever the logic we were saying it right so logic whatever the logic we want right we will be writing in the service activity rule okay so this is how you do it uh what uh creating this thing so let's first create our our thing now so this is all in our uh, bank app but now i want something which is in our uh, application okay so let's 